Hi, everyone. My name is Margaret Rice, and I am a Spanish teacher at Loyola Academy in Wilmette, Illinois. I This year I'm teaching AP Spanish Language and Culture, but I've taught all levels of high school Spanish. Today for National Teach Spanish Week, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite review games, La Bomba. La Bomba is a game of chance, so students might get every single question right, but still lose the game. In anticipation of playing, you as the teacher have to do a little bit of work. You need to come up with a list of questions and then assign each question a point value. So here's an example. I have a combination of questions that involve vocabulary from the chapter that we were studying, as well as grammar. And I sometimes like to throw in trivia questions just to keep it interesting for the students. After I've written my questions, I assign each question a point value based on a system of symbols. You could, of course, change these symbols to whatever you like, but this is what I learned, so this is what I use. A flag is five points, a star is three points, a boat is one point. But the game is called La Bomba for a reason. So you might get a bomb, which is minus one, two bombs, minus two, La Bomba Atomica, which will bring your point value to zero, or if you have a negative point total, bring your point total up to zero, and Una Granada, which you can throw at other teams to bring their point value to zero. So to play, you need to divide your team, your class into teams. They should sit together. You should decide if they can use their materials or not and try to come up with a system that allows teams to steal points. I like this because then all teams are on task no matter whose turn it is. So if it's not your turn, you and your team are trying to come up with the answer so that you have the opportunity to steal it or you may have the opportunity to steal it. And it's always a good idea to reinforce good sportsmanship and to go over the rules of play. Uh, this game can get pretty heated. And so I always tell my students that they need to celebrate appropriately. And we never want to delight in somebody else's misery. And of course, the team at the end with the most points wins. So in the classroom, I'll project a grid like this. I've included 50 questions, but you could easily tailor it to as many as you need or how many you have time for. A team picks a number. I ask the question, they get it right, I'll reveal the points. So if this question was a star, they get three points. Next play picks 24, double bomb is minus two. Team after that picks one, which is a flag, that's five points. Um, if a team gets the answer wrong, then I try to have somebody steal it. Um, and if they get an answer wrong, there's no penalty. So they don't lose points if they get an answer wrong. And I also try to include a few surprises, both good and bad, like a double flag, or I might throw in some minus fives or minus tens just to keep it interesting. And for my upper level classes, I include sometimes a grid with higher numbers so that it allows students to practice those three, four, five, six digit numbers. So La Bomba is a great game. I really hope you try it and I hope your students love it. Thank you.